Hello friends, this is Aman Alok from Coded and uh, as we are going through, you know, the lessons of web designing and we have already learned a lot. We have learned how to create a form. We have learned uh, about the basic tags in internet, in HTML and stuff. So now we'll be learning, you know, the most important part of internet. And I would say the most important part of storing and representing any kind of data, my friends. And those two things are links and tables okay how links so what is internet this define me internet it is something network within network that is internetwork that is internet so how do you you know define this network how do you create this network it is via links like you have created something and it is linked to something else then it is linked to something else and like there's a lot of links so yes friend we will create a we will be learning the very basic of the creation of internet that is linking and also we'll be learning tables so have you ever ever observed that tables are the best way to represent data from our childhood the thing we hated the most that is our report card to you know whatever representation of data like uh, maybe our aadhar cards our pan cards etc etc uh, uh, all everything had tables like your bank account whatnot so table is the best way to store and uh, represent data so friends have we have mentioned like HTML to be the teleporter of web so it is uh, like let us see how they work so okay taking the example of Google again our prodigal example the site which is being visited by us the most we can s just see that Google is about only two things okay the one which we already learned that is taking the input via the input type is equals to text and the second is about hyperlinking oh wow how see uh, like we have okay Google something over a song and Google um, throws like 7 million or 7 billion whatever of the results But what are those results about? They are totally links. Yep. They are just the links like just open Google right now and just type anything search it and you'll see that what it throws is a lot of links so basically what Google is doing is to throw links and then you when you click on them you are redirected to a new website. Yep so how does this work this work via this works via anchor tag yes friends the thing which helps you to create links is anchor tags as you have already been through input tag input tag paragraph p tag uh, heading h1 tag so this is again a type of tag and it is anchor tag so within angular brackets you have mentioned a so let us just you know see in details how it works the technical part friends so anchor tag the syntax said says within angular brackets h uh, so i'm sorry a h r e f is equals to in quotes url target is equals to okay in quotes um this underscore blank and then the angular bracket closes and link text and then again angular brackets and forward slash a so basically you are closing the a tag the later part so friends okay let us jump back to the image uh here and just uh, look that uh, okay we have searched for a song and then there's something the first link is about some YouTube video from the okay I love Breaking Bad so this is from Breaking Bad cool so Breaking Bad and something which and it is in blue so you know that when you click on this blue thing uh, the video will open so friends now coming back to the syntax the boring part the you know whatever blue part you want to be there i'm talking about google so please don't take it as a, you know like technical thing but uh, just considering from this image if you want something to be in blue which on being click will redirect public to somewhere then you have to put it replace it in the link text part so what this is you know the breaking bad what i am uh, like who knocks on the door whatever it is written so it is uh, replacing the link text part and friends url is something which is you know you know url so it is the address of the place where you want to the user to be redirected so in this case friends it will be the youtube plus whatever the address will be the video of and again so i got i think you got it so like if you want your name maybe okay may let us say your name is aditya and you want your uh, like when you whenever uh, people click on aditya on your web page they get redirected to google so you will simply replace link text with aditya and url will be google.co.n so you'll be 
redirect uh, redirected there now friends you can see that okay there is an attribute called target you can ignore it for now but please have you know a look there that if you put underscore blank then uh, it is opening the links in a new tab so friend like on facebook you are not redirected to the page on within the same page they open a separate tab so that you can you know you don't just get lost from the current page and uh, just get loose from the data so it is something cool then self opens the thing in the self frame where it was uh, you know clicked so it is something which is done being done in google so whenever you click on something within the same time only uh, things you know open up on the same page but if you have added tags uh, i'm sorry uh, this uh, blank thing then you can open it uh, the thing will be opened in new home tabs and top is cool it will simply open a new window of your browser and things will get opened in the new browser so friends you must have noticed that ads are usually being opened in a uh, new window so ads are usually being put with this top attribute so it is totally upon you how you want to exploit you know the representation and presentation so friends this is it and now let us just move to okay so the types of links okay what types of links are there so there's one internal linking and one external linking so friends i would like to you know just uh, close your eyes and uh, uh, just visualize two websites that you have you know visited the most i guess wikipedia and google so how does google work google and google wh whatever you know the links like that blue thing written in breaking bad you click on it and you are redirected to a new website so friend you are not staying on in the same page you are being redirected to a totally new website so that is external linking but in wikipedia so okay i love john lennon so i would just search on wikipedia john lennon so it will throw me the profile of john lennon and in the starting part only it will brief you know in kind of subheadings it will brief the life of john lennon like it will put it as you know the birthday then work then life then death then legacy and these will be the subtopics below it they'll put paragraphs uh, under these headlines so if i don't want to you know i just want to uh, look at whatever albums Lennon has re uh, released and I just click on the heading and it will simply you know the web page will crawl down itself to the part I, ha I don't have to scroll uh, manually through his birth and his death and his legacy I'll be simply redirected within the same page at the bottom most point so that is my friends internal linking it is quite evident with the name itself internal linking and external linking internal linking you do when you, whenever you you know your web page is too long in length and uh, you don't want people to scroll down through entire data and you simply want to them like you know like jump from here to there whatever precise they want to learn so you can put internal linking there okay so let us take an example so this my friend in background is coded you know old logo so this is a web page like now you can see here that uh, okay there is uh, like okay whatever written and in the box it is written uh, no, Aman and Alok. I'm sorry for the size friends, but uh, I hope you can see it in the box Aman and Alok. So when I'm clicking on Aman, okay, so I clicked on Aman and my page simply slided down to a part where Aman is written as something, you know, some paragraph is written uh, over there and Aman is underlined and is in blue. So Aman is being linked by the Aman in box. Are you getting it my friends? Aman in the box is linked with the Aman here, which is having some kind of text. So whenever people click here, uh, you know at the bottom Aman uh, you can't see the other thing down but it will simply redirect it to that Aman it will itself scroll down there so it is very useful in pages like Wikipedia my friends and uh, let us have a look into the HTML code of the upper example so okay we will be showing the HTML codes now as you ha you won't get scared like uh, okay now let us see let us see from the starting okay this is um, a cool way now i hope you have implemented everything so there is doc type html and please ignore the attribute for now and then html tag is there then my friend's head is there meta will be explaining later and uh, then title okay i have kept it untitled document only by default it will be untitled document so friends you can just put any title like i can put hyperlinking here and at the top left of the website like okay you can have a look maybe it will be coming okay or uh, maybe it is not so, so much visible at the top left my friend it is it will come untitled document for now but uh, i can put it hyperlinking then again friends okay but uh, we uh, we have closed the head tag 
and then inside the body we have written everything so center is another tag which put things in center and friends img tag you can ignore for now as we will be explaining the media part of html how to insert images then friends yes h1 we have already studied so h1 is there how you know like we provide coders at cheaper rates so you can see that uh, 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 it's like you know like a uh, bit bold and stuff we provide code as a cheaper it is bolder and bigger so that is the heading and uh, h2r managers it is little smaller than friends table will be explaining you later so check this part and uh, font is another tag my friend it's simply you know if you want to change the font family font size font color you can put a font in between text and it will manipulate it and then br br okay tables are there so friend this is the html tag you can just you know, take reference of it while you want to create something and friends now external clinking let us very uh, do it very quickly now again aman which was redirected from the top is having you know blue color so it is also a link so when i click on it i'm be, be reader okay. it is form press external and i hope you all got a basic idea so now using this you can create a web page you know like uh, quite something like wikipedia or something for yourself and uh, friends let us now move to the another form for representation and storing of data that is tables so friend what is table i already explained you why tables are so important and uh, obviously internet had to be you know had to have some kind of tables and so the table tag came into work came into job so what are you know like just okay you all know that table consists of two things columns and rows so my friends the table rows is written via tr tag that is table row the short form and table data is what we you know you can just uh, equate with with columns so we call it table data in uh, html and it is written via td so friends like i'm having a table here so it consists of uh, serial number product name price expected profit cool now when i go to the code let us just compare it with code so tr is a row and column span my friends it is one of the attribute of uh, th and what is th so th is table heading so whatever table heading you are putting like my table heading is uh, a serial number so i am putting the uh, i am putting the column span to be minus 1 there so it simply uh, puts a span as you can see the visual effect there is you know a kind of two lines are there so it is done by the span thing and uh, then i have put product name so again uh, product name is another thing then you know like whatever you write out out within this th th table heading so it is coming uh, as a text format here like product name is there then i have put uh, okay price and uh, expected profit okay and uh, then again i have changed my row since there is a row change there from a serial number to now i have to put one laptop 35000 and 1000 so friends i have changed the row i have closed the tr tag which i had opened above and now there is a new tr tag and within it i have written okay again like one then laptops then 35000 so ultimately when i come to the bottom most i have to close my table tag so friends uh, like um, uh, also the table had attributes like border and cell padding so this is just for the look part my friends and you can uh, you know like giving those cool 3d uh, feels to your tables so please go through there are like more attributes we are not discussing them at once so that you don't get confused we'll discuss them in future when we are doing css etc so that you are just once done with the basic form of representation of things in html so but if you are eager very eager then you can simply search for attributes of tables and you are having a lot of attributes and then you can exploit them so thank you friends please try to implement all of those things and create a cool web page now you have learned a lot you can create cool forms and then you can create uh, tables in html you can also create uh, uh, linking so please try to create something really cool okay